for it to be rotary, that makes me think, uh, like, I don't even know, toothbrush or flosser or something. Something's washable, right? So maybe it is some sort of shaving tool. Why it's rotary, I don't know, that's kind of weird. We got a bidet! Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. In today's video we got another Amazon coffin for you. We've had a ton of these on the channel so hopefully you're enjoying them. We love sharing them with you and you get to see our first reaction to a lot of this stuff. Um, if you haven't been here before uh, for the Amazon coffins, what this is is it's a box full of Amazon returns. Uh, not necessarily junk, it's just people didn't want it. Just like when you buy something at the store and you change your mind, you just send it back. Uh, some of this stuff ends up broken, but the grand majority of it is good to go. And what we do with it is we sell it. And so it's kind of a side hobby for us. Uh, so we're gonna share this one with you. It is sealed. You can still see the, well, it's partially sealed for the most part. <laughs> it started sealed. Yeah, um, but we're gonna cut it open. We're gonna take a look at what's inside and uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's be careful with this. Last time we smacked the table. There we go. Well, we've got some repeats. Um, we've noticed some repeats before. I'm gonna say right off the bat, here's our first two or three repeats rather. Okay, starting number one is the Hot Tools one inch gold curling iron wand. Repeat number two is going to be the ortho boot. And then I think this is repeat number three. Oh, I'm wrong. This is a digital wildlife camera. A with, trail cam. Yeah, see, I saw the hunting look, and I thought it was going to be a repeat of what we had in our last box that was the gun reloader. Oh. Well, um, but actually, different. this is completely different. <laughs> I couldn't see how deep in the box this went. But, yeah, so this is a um, trail cam. All right, the first one I'm going to pull out appears to be some light bulbs. I say appears because sometimes when we open these up, they aren't quite what's on the inside. So I will do this real quick. And they are, in fact, light bulbs. Um, these are foil sheets uh, that I believe you would use for hair dyeing. Oh. If you get your hair dyed or bleached or something. Somebody uh, opened up a few of them and kind of just left the rest, I guess. It's kind of a nice box. I'm curious to see what's inside here. Reminds me of a jewelry box. Ooh, we got a watch. I cannot tell what brand, but it still has the seal over it. Looks like it's Hugo brand. Interesting. Hugo Boss. Still has that plastic on the cover there. So, again, it doesn't look dirty. It looks just fine. You know, things aren't just wiggling around on the inside, so my guess is just someone didn't like it. So then they sent it back. Uh, this is the Remington Reveal Body Cleansing Brush. Uh, the next thing we got is a Viral Hybrid Color Dishener with Bond Fix. So it makes me wonder if it has something to do with color. I know nothing about hair products. As you can see, <laughs> I'm balding. So this is... my guess, Your guess is better than mine. It's not as good as mine. Yours is better. Uh, it, is, it says Rose Gold. So I wonder what that has to do with it. Um, and it's pretty full. It's pretty much all full. This is Mega Food Kids Daily Multivitamin. Now, the health product stuff, unless it's sealed, we typically just throw it out because you don't know if somebody's tampered with it. But one thing that I thought was really weird with this when I went to go see if it was sealed or not, it's not, but it's a powder. 
I was expecting like Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> this is a powder. You must mix it in like a drink or something for kids. I don't know. I yeah. haven't, uh, yeah, unsweetened powdered dietary supplement. Interesting. Auto, it'll be tossed. Uh, Sarah had some of these earlier, but uh, here's some more of those foil sheets. You see on the inside there. They're supposed to be 500. We are not going to count 500 <laughs> of those. Um, so, uh, this we're is. Going to take it for what it's worth. I was wondering what that was. It looked like something you rip your teeth out with. It says, first aid essentials for braces recommended by orthodontists. Uh, so, I'm not sure really what the little grabber tool is for, but you can see there's something. It's supposed to be like a little me a handheld mirror here, I'm yes. assuming, and uh, the mirror's gone. I thought you were saying neat, as in pulling something out of your mouth. And I was like, wow, graphic. Uh, <laughs> it is for braces for your mouth, but no, not for meat. Um, it's supposed to be a little mirror. It's a braces wire cutter is what it says. So, so not, not super graphic. For those of you that have had braces before, what that's probably for is, even though I wouldn't trust anybody besides orthodontists to do this, uh, when your braces... You know, your teeth get closer together and you need to change a wire out. Eventually that wire can get really long in the back and then eventually start stabbing you. I had that a time or two and it's not pleasant. So that's or, probably what that's for. If you're still losing teeth, I had this when I was still losing teeth and one of my tooth was wiggly, but it had a brace on it. So the orthodontist had to snip the wires so that the, you know, tooth was able to fall out. But again, I had the orthodontist do that. I can't imagine doing that at home. No way. Uh, this was kind of a mystery box that says, Welcome to One Blade. So this looks like a shaving kit. Brand new in the seal, except it looks like... Oh, nope. It's underneath. I was wondering if the uh, charger was missing, because, look, it appears oh, like it's yeah. missing. I wonder if they opened it up and were like, Where is it? And returned it. So if it was that, if that was the reason... Wow. This is a very common brand, uh, the Kid brand, right? But what this is, the box is kind of mangled a little bit. It is a 13-foot, two-story emergency escape ladder. So you can escape out the window if you were to have an emergency. <laughs> I could see kids using that to sneak out as opposed to an emergency. <laughs> uh, this says Oxford on it. Let's see what's... There's two of the same box. Twin pocket folders with fasteners, 25 in light blue. Oh, oh, very nice. This is going to be a donation item. So we got very folders nice. here. Uh, they have the three ring on the inside like Sarah showed you. Um, if you guys have watched our Star Wars podcast, we haven't told him yet. Uh, but if he watches this video, he's going to find out. Um, we've been trying to keep track of school supplies because, I don't know if you guys remember, but I am a teacher. Third box. Third box of them. I'm, so light blue. I'm a teacher and obviously I went to school for it. Um, Tony, on our discussion videos of the different Star Wars episodes, uh, we graduated together. So, uh, he actually went into the high school, public school, middle school system. I went the college route, but... I know uh, teachers in the public schools could really use more supplies, so he is going to be getting all of our school supplies that we get in these boxes um, as a thank you for being on the channel. So, if, Tony, if you hear this, it's coming your way. These are for you, buddy. I'm curious what this thing is in the bottom because I think... Oh, this is a little bit different. Aha! See, so the first curling iron we had was one inch. This one is the half inch, so... We'll cover up the address there. So same kind of curling iron, same Hot Tools brand. What is the half inch barrel instead of the one inch barrel? Uh, I think this might be the same thing. Here's another um, trail cam. It's probably, yeah, it's the exact same thing. So we got two of those there. Um, nice. Curious to see why they returned it. 
Uh, this box here says 20 on it, and it's cat litter pads, fresh scent. So let's take a look, see what is actually in there. Uh, this is a MM25000 manicure and pedicure set. Looks like a little grinder tool. Looks like everything's there. Um, the cord still has like the little wrap around it. All the tools are in the little tool kit here. It looks like it's a little dusty, but it's very hard for me to tell if it's actually been used. The grinder files all look new. I'm gonna say it's probably in new condition. Either that or somebody just didn't know what they were doing with it. I don't know. I do have cat litter pads. The whole thing is still wrapped, so they are all in there. Uh, we have another watch in this box. Uh, this one is Timex this time. It's a very nice looking watch. Um, I'm not a big watch guy, so I don't know values of watches, so we'll have to see. Um, this one is definitely functioning, because you can see the hand is moving. Uh, it does have the date as well, so that's super cool. Um, yeah, we'll see how those turn out. This is a spray bottle, minus the sprayer. <laughs> well, you can't do much spraying. There is uh, not much more to say besides that, other than it's pink. At least it looks clean. We got another hair dryer. Elchim? Elchim? I have no idea how that's pronounced. Um, that's a good guess. Yeah, we got a hair dryer. These are pretty, hair dryers in general are pretty popular. Uh, lots of, a lot of times they are pretty much brand new, still working. Very questionable why they were returned in the first place, but people gobble them up. They're great. This says Sudoku, and I'm very curious to see what this is because it's kind of a heavy box. Oh, this could be cool. And I, can you help hold the cardboard? Ooh. All right, I don't think it's quite what we were thinking. Um, <laughs> yeah, see, I thought this was Sudoku like the game, but really what this turns out to be is uh, floating shelves. It says Sudoku, not Sudoku. Yeah, well... They're floating shelves. <laughs> not quite. Oh, and a, uh, a towel bar, looks like. So not quite what I thought they'd be. Still cool, though. Just has a little dent on the top of it. But, I mean, if you were to have this, say, above the toilet or something, nobody's going to see the little tiny dent in there, you know? So, anyway. Uh, our next I item is called Keragi or Katogi. Something along those lines. Don't forget, English minor people. Basically, this is an alternative for a cone on your pet. It is size XL. It is scratch and bite resistant. Will not mark or scrape furniture. So instead of having a cone to prevent your pets from licking or uh, messing with themselves, this is an alternative. Probably a pretty good one. It's way more comfortable. This next item is a night light, night light for kids it says. It's kind of hard to see because the label is on it and they ripped it off and all that stuff is gone. Um, kind of a close up. I'm not worried about shipping labels because the name is ripped off already. Um, not too sure what this is quite yet. The brand is Heim Vision. So, we'll see more about that later on. Take a look at this one. This is a bottle of K-Pak Color Therapy Luster Lock. And you can see the little pump is still stuck down, showing that nobody's really used it. So, it feels heavy. 16.9 fluid ounces. Okay, I've got to see what this is. Why is it exciting? This box has mini PC. It 
Is it like a dinky laptop? I'm probably going to be sadly disappointed. It's going to be something that I didn't anticipate. Ace PC. So... It's a so, mini computer. It's a tower. Like a, yeah, a mini tower. Cool. Interesting. What's it got in it? Eight gigs of RAM? Holy mackerel. It looks like 128 gigs of storage. That's pretty good for a small little device, at least in my opinion. I haven't heard of the brand Ace PC before, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we have a little Amazon Basics, little tiny cardboard box. How do you open this thing? What's that knife? Let's see if there's any cords. Yep, comes with cords too. Neat. I'm curious to look this one up, that's for sure. I'm a little worried if I plug it in. See what's on. This is a Amazon Basics cable, USB C to USB. So it could be like a phone charger or whatnot. Very cool. Uh, this box is really nice. So something tells me it has to be nice. <laughs> uh, Bio Ionic 10X Pro Ultralight Speed Dryer. It's got a really nice box. I can't imagine that not being worth anything unless something's wrong with it. So, once again, like we've said in other videos, we do go through and inspect everything. Oh, what else we got here? This one has a um, address on it, so I'm not going to show the box. So just a very quick glance, it looks like, and I don't know, because I didn't see this exact model yet, but it looks like on Amazon, this one is around 150 to 200 and your El Chim hair dryer that you saw was also in the 150 to $200 range. My goodness! So, Good again, great. I don't know about these exact models, and we haven't tested that they work yet. Uh, we will definitely be doing that before we list them, um, but they're both very high dollar, uh, very premium brands, if you will. So, super cool. This is a Screen Beam Mini 2 kit. I personally don't know what that is, but I will be looking them up eventually. This box says it's a portable pet dog pool, so I'm excited Whoa. to open this thing. Uh, this one here is a couple of baby pacifiers. Oh, we got Legos. Ooh, nice. We got Legos. These are pretty popular. They sell usually within a day. Uh, Lego Friends is the puppy playground. The reason why it's returned is because it has a smashed box. I totally understand that collectors like those boxes in mint condition, but for the people that actually want to build the stuff, it's perfectly fine. Especially kids that tear it open. Trying to be super careful of this because obviously I don't want to slice the pool. Uh, this next one is a screen door. It's obviously not the whole door. Um, roller accessibility. Roller assembly. Words are hard, people. Plastic ball bearing wheel. So I'm not going to take this out for the fear of never being able to put it back in. But it's it's still sealed in the plastic, right? So. I mean, all you can really see is that it's like a dark bluish um, plastic waterproof type material. So, super cool. Apparently, this is like an inflatable uh, pool. Uh, this is a notepad. Stino notepad. Not a very, not a very nice looking one, but uh, as far as condition. Yeah, I've used ones like that before at work. They, they get the job done. They're okay. It's like a dollar. This next thing is a Derma Blend Professional Cover Cream. That's another thing that's really not my expertise, but Derma Blend. Uh, 
Uh, cigarette this, thing, is it? No, this looks like an attachment to an air hose, to like an air compressor. Weird, no. Or something like that. These, ooh, I think these are different from each other. Just ever so slightly. They don't really have any markings on them in terms of what they are. I just see a W. But anyway, there's two of these guys. The next item we got is a Wi-Fi range extender. We get a wide variety of brands of these things. Um, I think the other ones that we have right now are Netgear. Yeah, we, Netgear has been way more popular. That's probably the first of that brand I've seen in our boxes. You want to do a mystery box? I can't. I feel like I've done most of the mysteries. We're getting a mystery box here. What is this? Looks like a book. It's a picture album, right? Is it? I mean, it could be a picture album. So, okay. So Sarah thinks it's a picture album. That's just my first guess. I mean, there's... My first guess is... This is one of those things where you want valuables hidden away, so you stuff it in here and put it in a bookshelf so it looks boring. What does it say? Professional color of original shows I... eye cat. Oh, we're probably both wrong. I... What's the side of the box say? side doesn't really say anything, but underneath the sticker it might say what it is. It is a ma empty makeup storage box. Okay, it's for makeup. That was my, I think my idea was cool. <laughs> okay, this is... I'm not gonna lie, it looked like a PlayStation like this. <laughs> R & Co. Ashley Streacher, Stretcher uh, Dream House Cold Pressed Watermelon Wave Spray. That is a mouthful for what I think is just body spray. It's very str Look at the colors of that thing. You've got like a peach and then like a brown and then like a blue at the top going on there. How is that? Wow, that's crazy. Very cool. Our next item is from Relief Expert. It is a microwavable lower back and shoulder wrap. So. Looks like you heat it up in the microwave um, as heat therapy and cold therapy to be able to help your back needs. This is by Panasonic. It says it's washable. Um, it's got like a little rotary thing on the top so I can... Yep. Whoa. So it does work. I just flipped the switch and it turned on. What exactly it is, I don't know. I, I kind of, you know, normally Panasonic, I would think like... Um, maybe like a shaver or something, but for it to be rotary, that makes me think, uh, like, I don't even know, toothbrush or flosser or something. Something's washable, right? So maybe it is some sort of shaving tool. Why it's rotary, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe you can dial the phone print. Okay, the next item is, it says Amazon Essentials. Looks like it's a piece of clothing. Looks like a shirt inside there. Uh, what we do with Clothing, that's another thing that we, uh, you know, have certain things we do with it. Whenever we have clothing pop up in these boxes, we put that aside. And as we, long as it looks new and clean. Yes, has mm -hmm. to be new and clean. Mm -hmm. um, we donate these to... Uh, Children and young adults who are in foster care. Yes. Or at, um, early adult care. Say, the, the words were escaping me, so thank you. Mm -hmm. So... A nice shirt. Um, this is the Wet Brand Detangler. Uh, little brushes. So they look clean and new, but because they're out of the package, the actual bristles are kind of all frayed. Um, I'm not sure that those are really going to go for anything. Uh -oh. Our last item is from Con Air. And it is Extreme Instant Heat 12 Ceramic Jumbo and Super Jumbo Size Flocked Rollers. Do you know what that's for? Absolutely not. 
hair rollers are for wrapping your hair around while it's hot. Oh, that's so right. So that your hair stays curled. That's right. I remember. I remember some of those kinds of things. What I would like to know is what is jumbo size and super jumbo size? That's for how big the curls are going to be. I know, but why can't you say medium and large? Because they're jumbo, they're huge. Apparently. <laughs> All right, that was the last item in the box, minus the screw that I found in the bottom of the box. Very random. Yes. Um, so, uh, if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to turn on your notifications. That way you are alerted when more of these uh, unboxings drop. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop us a like if you like this video. And drop us a comment letting us know which of these items you thought was the most random. And then, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.